Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your third Node.js tutorial and in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about the V8 engine. Alright then, so we can fully understand how Node.js works, I want to dive under the hood a little bit and talk about the different components that it's made from. And the first one is the V8 engine. Now, the V8 JavaScript engine is at the heart of Node.js, so I do think it's worthwhile knowing a little bit about it and how it works. So first of all, what is a JavaScript engine? So when we write JavaScript, the computer itself does not understand it. It takes a JavaScript engine to convert that JavaScript code into machine code, something that the computer can understand so that it can be processed, okay? So it looks something like this. We have machine code right here at the bottom of the stack. And that is what computers run on. It's what they understand. But it's very difficult to program in machine code. It looks an absolute mess and you don't know what's going on. So then we started to abstract away from it using different languages. We have assembly language, which sits just above it, but still very much like machine code. Then we have something like C++ or C, and these are really popular because they abstract away quite a lot, but they still remain a lot of power. And then finally, we have things like JavaScript, which sit at the, uh, the top of the pile and abstracted a lot away from machine code. So when we write in JavaScript, we need a way for it to be converted into machine code for it to understand what we want it to do. So Node.js itself is actually written in C++, which might seem a little bit off the wall at first, since it's all about writing in JavaScript, but here's the distinction. Node.js itself is written in C++, but as a program, it allows us to write JavaScript, which can run on a computer or server, okay? And the reason that Node.js is written in C++ is because it uses the V8 JavaScript engine created by Google, which is also written in C++. So we know that Node.js is written in C++. And we also know that at the heart of Node.js is the V8 JavaScript engine, which converts the JavaScript that we write into code that the machines understand, machine code. So if you do want to read a little bit more about V8, then you can come to the developers.google.com website forward slash V8. And you can see here, it says that V8 is Google's open source high performance JavaScript engine written in C++ and used in Google Chrome. So it's also the JavaScript engine that's ran in Google Chrome. So when we create JavaScript in Google Chrome in the browser, then V8 is used at that point too to translate it, okay? And uh, you'll see down here that you can see it says it can run standalone or be embedded into any C++ application. So we know that Node.js is a C++ application and what it does is take V8 and it embeds it into Node.js. So how does Node.js work with V8? Node.js is written in C++, right? And V8 is embedded into it right there. So when we write JavaScript and we run it through Node.js, it's passed into V8 and converted into machine code, which the computer can understand. Now, V8 is just a part of the Node.js C++ core, and there's other parts of Node.js written in C++ too. So what do they do? Well, the rest of the C++ in Node.js hooks in to the JavaScript V8 engine, and it adds additional features to it. So initially, JavaScript was designed to run in a browser, and it wasn't meant to deal with lower level operations, but C++ was, uh, was sorry. So it's far more powerful than JavaScript. So Node.js, which is written in C++, hooks in to the V8 engine, and it extends it in such a way that passes on these additional features to JavaScript, such as reading and writing files or connecting to a database. So this is what makes Node.js so, so exciting. The fact that we now have been given much greater power with JavaScript that we didn't have before. And therefore it enables us to create server-side code in JavaScript, which is really cool. So I think that'll do now for V8. 
uh, gives you kind of a rough background of what it does and how Node.js works. Any questions, drop those down below. Otherwise, guys, I'm going to see you in the very next tutorial.